Wow. Wow, what truck do I want to drive? I want to drive this truck. I just love the Ram TRX. I really do. I'm blown away how I love this truck. So that's how I'm doing. What are we going to do now, right? What are we doing now? We're on another adventure. We're always on adventures. Doesn't end. Oh, the adventures never end. What is it about this Ram TRX truck? Why do I want to drive this Ram TRX truck over, say, the F-250? Or the Super B? Or the Mustang? Or the F-450? Or the Raptor? Or the race truck? Or the Grand Wagoneer? Or the Camaro? Or the Corvette? Or the Challenger? I mean, what is it about this Ram TRX truck that makes me want to drive it? It's just incredible. I love this truck. I am blown away how happy I am with this truck. I mean, it's just incredible. All right, here we go. What do you do when you need some petrol fuel? You go to Costco 409. This is 50 cent to 90 cent a gallon cheaper. And this thing needs some Petro big time. Because she's a gas hog. Oh, the old cut you off 100 bucks. Makes no sense. They charge you $4 a gallon and they cut you off on 100 bucks. <laughs> dollars of joy Good old tractor supply where you go to get your thingies I need some tie downs for my grill so i think that uh my buddy well that's a deal huh my buddy's gonna give me a grill or two all right got some uh bungees for the strap downs for the grill there's fifty dollars worth of bungees and i get a $15 reward for buying tractor supply, so it was only actually over 30 bucks. What's going on with my truck? Come on, Tricky. Ram trucks. I'm just telling you what, man. For all I thought I wouldn't like this truck, I'm a Ram guy. I guess I just am my Ram. Am I a Ram guy? Probably. Yeah, all right. So I'm out here running around doing errands now, all right? People are like, dude, you just said that uh, you're slammed. Well, good news is my kid is out working, taking care of a lot of problems. And I got a moment of uh, fun time. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go over and get my friend's uh, grills that he's offering to me for free. A McGriddle, Blackstone, and a regular gas grill. And then I'm going to go out to Winchester Honda where I forgot to get my uh, Honda tags for my bikes. I left them there and all my paperwork. But I'm going to check out a windscreen for the uh, Honda Talon. And they've got all of the uh, Honda Talon windscreens, full glass, split glass, half glass, all of them are there in stock. So for me, I'm going to take advantage of that and go check it out while I go to Timber Honda. Meanwhile, my friend Chris, I'm going to go by his house and uh, pick up those grills. So that's the plan as the pool. Yeah, yeah, that's rough, Mr. Ice Man. I know. Look at the Ram TRX. I just love the truck. What is it? What is about this Ram TRX? Is it the V8 motor, the supercharger, just the Ram beefy truck ride that I so thought I wouldn't really want? Just uh, crazy road here. The overcast day, but it's not raining. Oh, wow. So the Walmart delivery is now Tuesday. So I just had to call the water company to deliver us the pool water. And I had to tell them, uh, don't come Wednesday. Way too risky. Because if Walmart didn't show up till late tomorrow afternoon, um, that would be challenging. Or if Walmart all of a sudden goes to Wednesday. So I just called them pretty cool. They said, all right, we can come out Thursday. Worst case, we'll be there Friday. So it's always about the schedule. But interesting, you know, Walmart initially said that'd be a Tuesday delivery, but then they said it'd be a Monday delivery, but now they're back to Tuesday. So, there you go. Up the mountain, over the mountain. Hey, you get 12 and a half miles per gallon on that Petro fuel. Yeah, I'm going to head out to Timber Honda, get some accessories for the Talon. I'm going to go by my friend Chris's house and pick up some grills. Oh, we got one lane up here. What's going on up here, I wonder? What's that all about? Yikes. 
as we come down into Shenandoah Valley. And be one lane, look at that. Oh, they're paving. Paving time. But I won't be coming back that way. Beautiful time of year. All the green is out. And the spring is here. And summer is right around the corner. All the kids will be getting excited to get out of school. All the college kids graduating. Yeah, May's a busy month. Oh, look at all the open, beautiful land. That's just something. And it's just hard to believe. You just think about who owns this land, the value of it. What's the taxes on it? Since it's rural, taxes aren't radical, but it's taxes. As we get up the road, uh, to Timber Condo. On the Monday Morning Adventures. And here we is at Tim Honda. Can I walk out of here without buying something? Can I go in and leave without buying something, right? Well, I'm gonna buy something, I mean, but buying something? Yeah, I know, I hear ya. Yikes. Now, not so long ago, this place was empty. During the pandemic, all this stuff disappeared. Then they couldn't get it. And it took, I mean, it really took two years. I'd have, no, probably three years. I would have to say close to three years for them to get their act back together. And I've had a bunch of these. So these here, I've had the Pioneer. What's cool about the Pioneer thing is, like the dogs, you can take the dogs, they can go back here, and you can close this down, and they kind of get secured in the back area. So that is pretty neat. But these things have gotten pricey. Yes, they have. What hasn't? Let's go inside here and see if the guys are doing it. Winchester Honda. Everybody's fixing their computer and the phone. Let's go back and see my buddies in the parts department. Uh-oh, these guys. So one of my YouTube subscribers said, oh, you probably went and got a Super Cub. You know, as much as you want to make fun of that, that's not too bad. If you're down in the Bahamas, <laughs> right? <laughs> now it's all about the monkey. We're gonna go see the monkeys. Do you remember the monkeys, the band? Make fifty-two. Oh, okay. The the. Uh, you weren't pushing too hard then. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty good. You gotta remember, my first Honda experience was in nineteen like seventy-one when my dad brought my brother a used Honda fifty, old red one. Yeah. That was the first time I rode the bike. So that's pretty cool, but that's silver. Yeah, you don't have is that. Is it a 24? Is it a 24? So it's black. Yeah, that's it. But that's so interesting. Black, yeah. But it looks silver. It is. But that's so cool. So the red. Oh, I don't like the seat. I like that seat. Oh, that's so cool. Now, what CC motor is that? Let's see. So it's 125. That's so when I was a kid, it was a 50 cc, 49 cc yeah, motor. Yeah. So this is a 125 motor. Yep. It's the same probably as the Trail One. It is same engine. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh boy. It's like the Grom has the same engine. Yeah. Right. Okay. So specs, colors, accessories, a little rear carrier. 
Oh my gosh. Right. Do I do it, everybody? Do I do it? Do I give myself a little camper motorcycle? You know, and so can two people sit on that? Is there a rear peg? Is there a rear peg for a rear passenger? You just drag your feet. You just drag your feet. That's all those. Yeah, exactly. We're on the camper. Yeah, exactly. Right. Oh my gosh. Do we do it? Bill wants to make another sale. Uh, here we go. Oh no, oh no, I can't, I just can't, I can't escape. I come back to get my Hadaka plate off my Honda Goldwing I just traded in, which I just traded in for the, uh, the Talon Turbo R. And here I'm back at Honda getting a bunch of accessories for my Talon. And what have I done now? What have I done now? I just bought something. What do you think I bought? <laughs> I'm not lying. I just bought something. Oh my gosh. Just run, Iceman, run. Just get the heck away from this place. Yeah, I know it's dangerous. And the Ram TRX. So stay tuned Tune for more Honda adventures. But you won't know that answer till tomorrow. <laughs> All right, let's get the big old Ram TRX. I got to back up to the shop because I just, uh, just bought a bunch of accessories for the talent. Yes, I did. And Mike. The parts guy here is so cool. He uh, he gave me a great deal. So I got a bunch of stuff, so I'll show you in a second. Yeah, it's a good thing I brought the big TRX. I bought a front windshield for the ramp, for the Ram, for the uh, Talon R. I bought a rear uh, windscreen, windshield, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I can't even keep track of all the stuff I bought for the damn Talon. And I got a great deal, and I went for some off aftermarket um, uh, name products that saved me a lot of money. Which I'm gonna do some how-to videos on this stuff. Here we go. Let me see if I can get back a little further without running through their garage. Let's see. All right. Oh my goodness gracious! If the back door is even open. Let's see here. The door's probably locked. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, there it is. Wow. Where's the helping hands? I don't know. Keep the door closed. How do I open this damn thing, right? Let's see. Go up. Is there a button? No, not really. All right. I'll just pull it up myself. And uh, let's see if it stays up. Does it? Yeah, it does. All right, so I got a rear windscreen, windshield, whatever, front windshield, I got a rear um, tour pack or rear luggage rack, I got uh, side mirrors, I got mats, rear view mirror, I got a rear extender bar, and boy, if you buy the Honda stuff, it's a pricey, but my man Mike here at the uh, Timber Cottage, he does a great job on uh, sharing his uh, love for his customers. So I got Jack here. Question is, do I put that? I think that I think that'll be all right back there. What do you think? It's all right. All right. Let's do that. It's all about staying youthful and buying toys. <laughs> the youthful. See that guy there? Yes. He's 80 years old. You never know. Yeah. Him, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, yes. Same 82, right? 82 years old. Right? Man. Well, I hope I look that good. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Yeah, Jack. Come see Jack the man at Timbrook because he'll take good care of you. So, I told everybody I have a heck of a surprise tomorrow. You can't tell them what it is. But Jack yet sold me another thing. One more. Please. One more. So, tomorrow I'll be back to pick up yes. my next yes. adventure. Honda Adventures again. And, uh, really, he has a great operation out here. Anybody list this Virginia, Maryland area, really should come out to Timbrook Honda. I mean, I'm sincere. Yes. Come they're called a... They're called a powerhouse because they have lots of product. Yes. I mean, so a lot of Honda dealers aren't powerhouses, so they don't have a huge inventory. And you know what? Usually inventory and, and other stuff helps move product, and they probably help you get a great deal. So sincerely. We will hook you up. He will hook you up. And yes. Jack's been doing this how long? How many years have you been doing this now? 40? My, he's 80. Pretty much my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> he's 80, 50 years. And it's so cool. His dad was a BSA distributor. It would have been cool if your dad was a Bull Taco distributor. When he that, knew and, of them. And, he and was then, a Hodaka. Well, you could have been a BSA. He was, Triumph. Yeah, he was a Hodaka dealer? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. 
I knew you had one. No, he oh, so if you could have kept two or three Hadakas. I have to bring you one of his old business cards. And bring you a picture could, of your Hadaka. Yeah. Your Chrome, yeah. Um, what's it called? Combat the Combat Wombat? Wombat? Yeah. Can you imagine if you ever would just got like two or three of those and just parked them? Just, if we knew what oh we knew gosh. now, back when we were 16. But were those How being built in China? We have yeah, we but were those being built in China when you took that over? The so, Hodakas? so yeah, Hodakas. Because they got they got they went bankrupt. Yeah. And then they got bought out by um, a fertilizer group, like out of the, like a shell fertilizer group out of like the West Coast, like Washington State or Oregon. A bunch of executive guys brought back the Hadaka. But I thought they outsourced at that time to some cheap manufacturer. They may have. That, I'm, I'm not sure. That would have been back in the 70s. Yeah. Because they, because, ha, see, Honda put Hadaka out of business. Really what happened is but the Yamaha. They a lot of people. Yeah, the, the, when the, the Honda Elsinore came along, mm -hmm. all the dirt, you know, Hadaka was really the true um, hair scrambler beginning of, the, in the motocross. Yes. yes. I think in the early 60s. Right, yes. right. But then the Japanese came along. And they circumvented them in so many ways. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll yeah. talk about that more another day. So, all right, let me get out of here. What a blast. This is such a great operation. Great people. They really are. I mean, they realize they're great. And, and they have steady people. So, there's people worth this dealership for years and years and years. So, anybody out here in this rural area or just in the Virginia, Maryland, D.C. area, that's a drive, though. That's a thing. Hike for a lot of people that are further up to the D.C. Maryland area, but it's a fun drive, and they got a lot of good products, so, uh, and stay tuned for more adventures, right? It just doesn't end. When does it end? Hey, what do you do when you've had a big day, big day of buying things? You go get yourself a big hot dog and a big gulp. How about that idea, huh? Yeah, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you have any good hot dogs in here? Chips, drinks? Let's see. Do they have the big bites for the big guys? Look, they get the big bite. I like the big bite. Packed. This place is a gold mine. Oh my gosh, man. I mean, 10 people deep. Yeah. Hey, everybody. It's country going broke. Yeah. Yeah. Watch those videos all day long. There's other prosper in this world. Anyway, night time. I'm hungry. I talk a lot. I know that. 